Hey friends, Chris here, and today I'm issuing to you a challenge to cool your landscape with strategic watering. I'm going to explain what that means. I've had nothing but success cooling entire landscapes with the implementation of the science that's shown in brief number five from the Value Bios for Earth series. That brief is entitled Vegetation Cools Climate. So over this shoulder, you have a deciduous tree. Over that shoulder, you have a needle leaf tree. Deciduous trees have these broad leaves, these green leaves like uh, live oaks, maples, sycamores. The needle leaf trees are the ash junipers or the cedars and the pines, the trees that have cones. These trees, when they're moistened, will release a cooling moist wind into the whole system that then the vegetation can share and that will cool your landscape. If we were in the Austin area, for instance, where biointegrity is based, if we were to have everyone who reads this newsletter do this challenge, relatively speaking, we should be able to lower the temperature of the city. I've had success with that in the past, which I'll explain in a future video. I've also been able to make rain. There are links to those notes below in the comments, and I will explain that more in the future. I'm excited to share all that. This is a breakthrough in how we think about our relationship with the environment, as we call it. It turns out that trees, deciduous trees, are the most impactful resource we have for circulating cool, moist air over land. Deciduous trees, the big leaf trees. So what you want to look for is a big trunk, big canopy deciduous tree where you live or work, and then take on this challenge. Let me back up a little bit and tell you what I'm talking about. I have been able to consistently generate systemic cooling with three simple techniques. I'm going to show you two of them today. I've been experimenting with this science since 2019. The very first time I took what I read about how the Amazon makes its own rain and applied it to live oaks in central Texas, I got rain 45 minutes later. Same thing the second time. That's not going to happen this time of year. There's not enough moisture, generally speaking, in the air to generate rain but you can generate systemic cooling. This is consistent. I have notes on these things again in the comments below. And now let me tell you about your challenge. I'm challenging you to take 12 to 15 gallons of water and uh, put it on the, decidu the largest deciduous tree where you live or work. The average American shower is 17 gallons, so less than a shower. You could skip a shower if you're concerned about the water use. But this, again, is the most efficient way to use water that I'm aware of for cooling, for mitigating and reversing global warming, and therefore the impacts of climate change. The two techniques I want to talk to you about that are super simple, number one, wash the baby elephant. Number two, drip the trunk. So, number one, gently washing the trunk. So you can take a small bucket and pour it around the trunk as high as you can, gently pour the water down the trunk so that it saturates into the bark and go all the way around so that you make a 360 degree moist saturated bark section. That can be from one foot down or seven feet down, however high you can reach, and just cover that bark with moisture. You should notice some cooling impacts and greater circulation within moments of having the whole trunk covered or starting that. Your goal is to moisten and saturate the bark not to flood it. When you're working with trees, think about how you would um, try and help a child who is dehydrated. If a child says, I need a drink of water, you don't pull out a fire hose and spray them in the face. You give that child the right amount of water and that child intakes the water at the rate that's right for them. It's the same with these deciduous trees. You wanna wash their trunks gently, let the water pour down the trunk, just like as, as if you were washing your own body gently or your own baby gently. And then you want to drip trickle through five gallon buckets. This is technique number two, the roots of the tree. Take one five gallon bucket, put a small hole in it, put the bucket right up against the trunk, fill it with water and let it drain naturally. It should take five to 10 minutes. You want a small hole and then move the bucket and fill it again and let it drain again. That's it. This whole um, action of washing the trunk and then dripping the trunk or dripping the roots next to the trunk shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes once you have the pieces you need in place. You should notice a slight cooling immediately. If you have more than one good sized tree or tree canopy, 
do all of them. This is not a bad use of water. This is an incredibly effective use of water. We can cool landscapes as far as the vegetation is connected based on the amount of moisture that's in the system. So we put moisture back into the system. Most of what I, most, all of what I hear people talking about for mitigating drought is cutting trees, cutting, mowing, all these things. That's the opposite of what we should be doing. It turns out that to stop drought, you need to water the right trees. You need to water the trees, the deciduous trees. They will share the moisture across landscapes through soils, through vegetation, through the air, to other trees and other canopies. And we can stop fire with this technique. We can reverse drought if we, are, if we scale this up and start thinking logically about the, the way the environment actually functions. My work as an ecologist has always been about trying to understand function of the other organisms on this planet. And these deciduous trees are our best asset for stopping and reversing global warming at local to regional scale. Once you have your bucket out and your hose and everything set up, again, this is not even 15 minutes of work for you. This is about 15 gallons, perhaps. Doing this is enjoyable. Doing this is life saving. You are saving the trees that bring value to that property and the other vegetation on that property and the other life in that system. Doing this reduces wildfire risk immediately on that property and helps promote greening further down. It's hard for things that are green to catch on fire. This is the most efficient and only real way to create moist, cooling winds on landscapes is to water deciduous trees. I have gobs and gobs of notes on this. Again, links in the comments below. This also is the best way to keep the carbon that's in the landscape in the landscape so that it doesn't drought and emit more greenhouse emissions. And by the way, by greening up these trees, these deciduous trees with the broad leaves, they will then photosynthesize as they inhale and exhale and come back online, and that pulls more carbon out of the atmosphere. That's an additional heat reduction benefit. These are greenhouse gas reducing organisms. They eat the carbon. They hold the carbon that we want to pull out of the atmosphere and other greenhouse gases such as water. So you want to encourage your trees to grow, your vegetation to stay green in this time of year through these simple, super water efficient waterings. This will also revitalize the biodiversity around the building that you're working near. Whether you own the place, whether it's an apartment or an office building or your own home or your ranch or whatever you have, you will see as you irrigate these trees, you will see biodiversity come back to that area. I just did a last weekend a friend's giant live oaks and then left um, for the day and about 30 minutes after I left, he texted, you know, what have you done? There are birds everywhere. It's amazing. This is what happens. And so you can do this. Anyone can do this. If you have big trees and you want to know more about the metrics that we use at Biointegrity to rehydrate landscapes, to potentially generate rain, to take care of all kinds of problems, contact me. Send me a personal email, chris.searles at biointegrity.net. We'll share all of the information. You can also hire Biointegrity to come out and do this rehydration service on your landscape. And lastly, if you do this, Please tell us about it. Send an email to me, chris.searles at biointegrity.net. Let me know what you've experienced. Let me know how much water you put into the trees. Feel free to send photos. We should start doing this. This is a breakthrough in how we can stop the warming on landscapes by generating cool, moist winds. It is built in to this 300 million year old organism here of which we share 50% of the same DNA. When you think about how your body works, it's circulating moisture constantly. You take in moisture and release moisture every day. We're giving the moisture back to these trees that are the best of any resource we have on the planet for reducing the heat on your landscape, circulating cool, moist winds, and hopefully bringing the rain. Thanks for watching the video. I do want to hear from you if you get involved. There will be a lot more on this as soon as possible. Thanks again.